Hello, I'm Doug Fink. I'm a Microsoft MVP, and I wanted to walk you through my new PowerShell menu wizard, a custom ChatGPT that I built with the ChatGPT builder. Let's go. So you should be able to see a link to the PowerShell menu wizard, either in the description below or when I posted it on socials, I included a link and it brings you to this page, it tells you it creates menu scripts based on your, your input. Um, you have a bunch of options when you hit this page. You can choose from one of the uh, predefined questions I created. Um, you can click on and say, can you create a menu for file operations or guide me in creating a user uh, input menu in PowerShell. You could also do something like, uh, this is having a regular conversation with GPT, but the GPT that I've made is specifically focused on doing menus. So I can ask, what can you do? And even with the space, it should figure out what I'm asking. Uh, if you need a PowerShell script for a menu, such as selecting options make or making choices, I can provide you with a custom script. This includes designing uh, menu items, setting up a .NET object, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'm just going to sit here and say I, I would like a menu with um, run, explain, uh, what else, copy, and uh, quit. Right, so we can get out of the menu. Let's see what it does. Certainly, I'll create a menu function for you that includes the menu with the options run, explain, copy, and quit. And off it goes. And it starts building a function called new action choice. And this is how you use the system management automation uh, choice descriptions. Sets up uh, the four that I wanted, passes it to the host choice description in the .NET framework gives it a title, a message, grabs the result, and based on whatever the result I did, whatever I type in, it will actually just print out what I chose. Uh, so, let's try a couple of things. I can copy this code, which you'll want to do, so it creates the code for you. And now I can paste it into the terminal. There it is. So it pasted it in, it ran it, it's now ready to use, there were no errors, and I can do something like new action choice, just to check out and see if this works, and here's my menu, right, and I have a run, and it chose the ampersand R as the hotkey, or the key, the one letter I can use to press to get what I want, and at the end, it also includes the help, so again, it created the run, the explain, the copy, the quit, and then dropped it into the options uh, choice description, gave it a title, select action, message, what action would you like to perform? And let's say I want to do E explain. And then when I type that in and drops into result, I do a switch statement or it did a switch statement for me on that, translated those uh, options into zero, one, two, three. And it says, okay, you chose explain. I can run it again and I can do something like run. Awesome. Okay, so click that link, head over, give it a try. And if you want, you can send me feedback of things you'd like to see in it or not. But uh, it's a great option to uh, figure out how to do menus in PowerShell. Talk to you later. Bye.